So I took photographs in nightclubs for four or five years in Dublin. That was before I did the MFA in photography in, um, in Belfast. I, I wanted to do the MFA to do serious photography, to do something really important or something grand. Everybody just thought my nightclub photographs were so fascinating. And to me, they were just things I, I saw every, every day, all the time. Same people, same clubs. I haven't really presented them or, or ever seen them in a, in a fine art context. They were just kind of cheap, quick snaps for the disposable medium. The wonderful group of peers that I gained on the MFA encouraged me to, to explore that area and to, to do those kind of photos, but do them better. So landscapes and portraits was, uh, was what I decided, and landscapes of, of places where, where raves happened, illegal raves. And I had to find out about them, I had to get to them. I had to stay up all night. And at dawn, I had to make myself go and take photographs of people, which was surprisingly easy mo most of the time. And I just, I, just, I just thought that was an important thing for me to do because I was photographing in nightclubs all the time. I needed to photograph, or oh, it was the opposite of a nightclub. So these photographs are, or of when the night's over and when people are just about to leave and people are on their way home and there's a it's kind of just a, a, a sort of a sadness or an emptiness in the, in the landscapes with the, the fallen down tents and the faces I felt all of the photographs are a photograph of, of my sentiments about it and that end of the night feeling when uh, and the party's over, and the sadness of going back to reality. It's part of me getting away from the, the club photography as well, and the whole, whole commercial element to it that, that didn't quite fit with what in my head was a, was a beautiful, nearly spiritual community, and this, this dancing all night long, and the freedom of that. Uh, and that, was, that is important to me. club culture in Ireland was something that I wanted to really rebel against or rebel against my own work or react to the, the work that I had been doing by taking similar photographs of events and people that I felt were, were doing things for less commercial reasons and for more honourable outcomes. When I started taking nightclub photos, the country was really in a recession. It was in 2010. And the big nights out were Wednesday night and Thursday night. And of course, that would go into Friday night and Saturday night and Sunday day. And you wouldn't need to wake up on Monday because people weren't working. And I wasn't working. And it was, it was kind of a, a mad time. I had my camera at a, at a rave at an after party and uh, somebody just comes up to me and says, uh, sorry, are you looking for ghosts? Referring to pills. And I kind of just thought, yeah, I kind of am. I'm, I'm looking for ghosts of people or the, this sort of a, a spiritual kind of element or intangible part of people's soul that, that I was trying to photograph and I, and I was struggling to photograph because the, the situation was just, was just wild and, <laughs> and fun. But I, I, was, uh, I was looking for ghosts, all right.